Welcome, Scribers, to another Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for June 2015. Little House on the Prairie. And yes, I'm in my Little House outfit. I think it would be appropriate that I would wear something that would be typical of the period. I'll be a pioneer woman this month. And I also, I am on a server so I can skip the day rather than having to uh, wait out the time. So I'm doing this on uh, a server rather than on single player just for this month. Um, and I may do that for the next month. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So all the standard rules apply. Um, but this month there are three additional rules. There's no violence. That means we cannot kill any kind of hostile mob as well as not killing the passive mobs. And uh, there's some very strict eating restrictions. Um, we cannot eat any meat including fish or zombie flesh. So the only things we can eat are bread melons, cookies, pies, cake, carrots, potatoes, and apples. And uh, we cannot steal because uh, across from the way from me is a village, which is basically Walnut Grove. And the only way we can take anything from the village is in exchange for gold. So we're going to have to be mining for gold in order to get like a potato or carrot from the village because we won't be able to get those from zombies since we can't kill them. And we can't steal from any temples mine shafts or dungeons either so if we come across those we can't do anything with those as, as well we can't steal anything from those areas so basically we're going to be mining and hoping to get some food uh, so I'm going to move the time forward and we'll get started okay so now we're on day one so uh, we need to start getting lots and lots of seeds. Now, um, I had planned to do a team uh, play on this, but unfortunately we had uh, issues with uh, recording. My deck story uh, phased out and then so I just said, well, I'll just send them over to Frank and Honest channel and his uh, recording system he's trying to recover uh, phased out as well. So uh, I don't know if we'll have a team. Uh, if we do, I'll indicate on the channel description and send you guys over that over to that uh, team channel wherever it might be. Uh, it could be that Momo will have to be the one to actually put anything up this month. Unless uh, we do a late game over play and uh, end up doing it ourselves. We'll see. So I am looking for pumpkins as well as seeds. I want to do it during the day while I can. There is the village, Walnut Grove, over there. And um, I'm hoping I can find some pumpkins somewhere. Oh, already we have monsters. So basically we come across a hostile monster. Uh, we have to run. <laughs> And the worst of them will be those that don't despawn uh, when the when the day reappears. Like uh, oh, I think it's creepers and little zombies. All of those. So this is so we have to stay away from here until we have something to trade with them. But what I'm trying to see is uh, if there's any pumpkins in this area. While it's still daytime and there's no, there's no uh, worry about them getting harmed by the zombies. But I don't see any pumpkins in this area over here. Let me go over here. Because pumpkin pie is going to be probably one of the better sources. If we can attract some chickens to our farm and... Uh, some eggs and maybe some um, okay I don't see anything over here I'm just gonna to do a quick tour around see if I can find any pumpkins nothing here nope maybe on the other side of the village 
I do need to go and get some wood f as well. We can make cakes, so once we start growing wheat and we have chickens for eggs, we can get milk from the cows and be able to do that. So there's plenty of cows around. Of course, they're all teasing me because uh, they know I can't eat them up and I shouldn't be jumping that much. And I really need to start getting some kind of farm going here. Oop, this is all crazy here. And I don't see anything on this side other than death. Uh, so no pumpkins there. Already some skellies down there. Now, uh, oop, wow, that's not good. Already hurting myself. Um, Michael said if we come up during the day and there's skelly bones lying about, we can use them. There's some coal right there. I don't see any pumpkins over here either. Okay, well, well, this looks like a good area to set up shop. So I'm going to go across here and get some wood. It's the first time that I haven't gone, played uh, Minecraft, and I haven't gone and raided the, the village first off. Oh, and there's sugar. We can de definitely need sugar for our pumpkin pies if I can find pumpkins. It's already midday, too. Let's get this tree down. And I'm already down two meat pops. And get our uh, farm going here. Do more of those. Make a crafting. Put that down over here. Let's get this going. Get a farm tool first. Then we'll do a pickaxe. No point in making a, a um, weapon this month, obviously. And I'm going to follow the row rule because uh, definitely I think they grow faster. And we put them in rows. And let's go see if we can get some more. Oh, I guess I should make an axe probably. And pick up some of the stuff, huh? So let's do an axe. Till we, I'm going to do as many trees right now before uh, it gets nighttime. I have to go down below. I know there's pumpkins around because in our team play we found them, but Frank found them, so I have no idea where they're at. Which is probably a good thing anyway because um, it's taking advantage of of having previous play, and in single player, really, a lot of people are playing without having any previous knowledge. I wouldn't want to take advantage of the fact that we did try a team play and it didn't work out. Ooh, apple, nice. Okay, let's go over here. Try to get as much as wood as possible. I'm trying to get some of these trees despawning. You can see if we can get some apples. And also make maybe some charcoal. Because I don't know if I'm going to go back to that hole and get the coal. I think I'll stay around here until I have to go down. What would I have the better? and the better chance of getting more apples. Of course, I do need to get some stone to make a furnace and maybe make some charcoal while we're waiting to go under. I'm probably going to do this gameplay all the way through, uh, mainly because um, time and I always forget what I'm doing when I wait. 
otherwise. So let's go ahead and split this out, actually. There we go. And I'm going to need to get some... Is there anything close by? A little cave or anything? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. So let's just go ahead and dig in here. Furnace going real quick here. Let's get that started. some light when we go under as well. Let me check real quick on the other side here. Now I may build on this side because this is more prairie-like. I'm trying to see if there's any... Um, oh, and the sun's going down. Any pumpkins over here by chance? a lot of prairie over here on this side so this may be a good spot to build our house and I don't see any pumpkins okay so no pumpkins over here is there a little cave no this is just water 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 and more water at least I have three apples that's a good thing Ooh, four apples. There we go. I'm getting good apple apple despawning here. From the leaves. And I probably should head under as soon as I get this charcoal made into some torches. So we'll have some torches around here. Make sure this farm is going well while I'm down under. Take this with us. And head on down. Okay. And we'll cover this up. Leave that up. I think it's only one step. Yep. And that way, um, Actually, let me take this. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Good. That way I can still see out and be able to be protected from the mobs. Of course, little mobs will come in. I probably should um, go ahead and put down the crafting table and the furnace and make some half slabs real oh, quick here. Put a half slab there, just in case we get a little baby zombie. We do not want anything coming down on us at all. Okay, let's see. I've got enough to do. Oops, I need some sticks. So basically tonight, I guess it's going to be a lot of mining um, until we get a little more protection up top. I'm going to try to go as, up top as quick as possible. Um, let's go ahead oops, and do this. Um, I want to see how much one... I can't remember what the ratio is, what one block Okay, so that's good. I think they do one and a half, so we'll just do a few more. Get some more torches done as we go down. So not much 
little house on the prairie going on right now. That's okay. Sorry that this first episode is going to be a lot of mining. Oh, and there's some coal and some iron. Now, he didn't say we couldn't wear armor, so that's going to be an important thing to get. And plus, I need an iron pickaxe if I find gold. I'm going to need an iron pickaxe, so let me go ahead and go back up here. Do I have enough? Yeah. Make another furnace. And get this iron cooking. Six pieces, that's good. Oops. Oh. No, don't put the iron back in the wall, silly. Let's see, that should take care of that. If not, I've got some coal here. So pickaxe is going to be first thing on my iron list, and then we'll get the rest of the, hopefully find more, some more iron and get some armor done. Because we are going to need some protection if we cannot fight the mobs. And food is going to be an issue. I'll, he also said that we need to have more than one uh, source of food, so we definitely need to get gold to um, trade with the villagers. The trading rate, like I said, is one item per one ingot, so one carrot equals one gold ingot, one potato one gold ingot. So that's that's what we have to do. He didn't say anything about um, whether we could trade for anything in the blacksmith if there happens to be one. If they have something in there, so I think we just have to leave it all in there. We'll see. Um, and since I'm doing this all at once, I won't know, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and not take anything from the blacksmith even with uh, gold ingots. I guess that's the Olsen's uh, general store that we have to buy from. That was part of the little house on the prairie. Lots more coal here so I'm not going to have to worry about torches. So we can get down now. Gold starts at 39 and below. So uh, we'll get down to about a little further than 39, just so that I can have a better chance of maybe getting gold. I know there's a ratio uh, chart that shows you exactly the largest concentration. But I forgot to look at it before I started playing, so... I don't know what the optimal level is. My pick's about to go out. And I don't have my crafting table, so I'll make another one. Which is good, because I have lots of wood. No problems here. Let's go ahead and make probably a couple of these. Oops, I keep doing that without sticks. Let's make lots of sticks here. And we'll do two pickaxes. And I might go ahead and start to make some stairs to head back up. Oh, I got an upgrade. <laughs> it's just saying that. start knocking some of these things out of here. Um, let's get this out of the way. I was thinking of building... Oops, didn't take that one. A um, house similar to the one on the Little House on the Prairie. I hadn't planned to, 
because I was going to do that on team, right? We did that on team. We just <laughs> just didn't get recorded, uh, or our, our recordings are gone. Um, and since it's not going to be on that, I may just go ahead and do it again here. I did a prototype already of what it should look like, so I kind of know what I need to do. But I don't know, I've done it so many times, I feel like I want to build something new and different. Maybe like a little small prairie house. Already hear monsters. Shouldn't be in here, should they? Okay, they must be outside waiting for me. Oh, and it's turning day, so day two should come up in just a minute. And I'm still doing good on um, food here, so that's good. That's a good thing. Of course, having um, hopefully they'll start burning up soon. <laughs> can't see anybody out there, so let's get our iron. Oops, it wasn't enough. So let's do that. There they go. Burning up. Go ahead, get the rest of our iron. Oops. Get an iron pick bun. Get it ready to go down later to mine. We'll go out and see um, See what it looks like out there. Looks like that was the only thing. Too bad there wasn't any skellies. And there's day two. And I don't see anything around, so let me go back down. We'll cover it up and I will say goodbye from here. Well, I survived my first day in the prairies, <laughs> or close to the prairie. Um, I've got some food on me which is good and I've got a farm going and I'm heading down to mine some gold. So I will see you in the next episode. If you like this episode be sure to hit that like button and if you want to see my next episode be sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time in day two.